Welcome to Sound, Wrapping It Up. You already know that sound is a form of energy that behaves in predictable ways. You also know that sound is produced by vibrating objects. Objects that vibrate faster or more frequently have a high pitch, and objects that vibrate slower or less often have a low pitch. Let's check out this tool that demonstrates both. I have a pretty unique sound device that I want to show you, um, and I made this in a class. So this is something that is completely put together. It's a piece of wood, okay, um, and then another piece of wood that that has a nail right there, um, and it has a little hole in it, okay? And then an empty soup can, and see, so the, this end is empty, and this other end is also empty, but I put over it a um, piece of saran wrap or clear plastic, and then a little piece of reflective mylar, you know, those um, balloons with helium in, in, in them um, that are metal-like, um, it's made out of the same material, which is mylar. And mylar is um, reflective, okay? So it does reflect light, light bounces back. Um, and I'm gonna put something in this little hole. Um, I'm gonna put a little laser pointer. So if you ever use a laser pointer, you know that you're never supposed to shoot it at someone's eyes or up at any aircraft in the sky, because that is illegal. It can do permanent damage. They can um, distract um, pilots. So make sure if you do use a um, laser pointer that you're being smart. But if I put my laser pointer in here and shine it, you should be able to see there's a little teeny red dot right there. So that's, that light is gonna bounce off and it's gonna hit the opposite wall. What we're gonna do in this lab is I'm gonna talk into here and I want you to see what happens to the light, the laser light that I am pointing when I speak in there, because you're going to see that my speaking is going to cause this to move, which is going to also cause then the light to move. Um, so think about it. What do you know about sounds? How do we produce sounds? What do you think the light's going to look like? All right, we're going to go inside my closet and check it out. <laughs> Welcome to the inside of my closet, and it's completely dark in here, except for this light. So you can see the light shining. And my can is right in front of you. I know you can't see that, but I'm going to speak into that. And you can see the light right there. Watch what happens when I speak. Hello. Hello. Science rules. Science learning. Sound energy. I like science, yes I do. I like science, how about you? What do you guys notice about the sound? Or what is the sound doing to the light? What is it doing? Help me. <laughs> All right, and that is the that is it for this lab. Woo! <laughs> We've also learned that sound can travel through a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Sound travels at different speeds through different media. Once sound is produced, it travels outward in all directions until it reaches a different medium. When it encounters this new medium, the sound can continue traveling through the new medium, become absorbed by the new medium, bounce back into the original medium, or engage in some combination of these possibilities. Let's explore some ways that we can make our sounds louder. Sometimes when we listen to music or different sounds, we want to make them louder. We want to turn the volume up or as we say, amplify the sound. So I have a couple ways that we can do that. Obviously, if you have speakers or something that you can adjust the volume, that is the easiest way, but we don't always have that. Or you and me, we can just use more energy to be louder or quieter. It's up to you. Um, but I do have a couple things that we could use to make sound louder or amplify it. One of them is this little silicone speaker. It is not electronic. It's, it moves all around. It's flimsy, comes apart. Um, what state of matter is this? 
Is this a solid, a liquid, or a gas? Yeah, it's a solid. So I'm gonna play some music and then I'm gonna put my phone in there and we're gonna see what happens to the sound. There we go. Okay, you probably recognize that music. Do you hear the change? music changes, doesn't it? The sound is louder. So this little speaker, this solid, actually amplified or made our sound louder. Um, this is something I bought online, but there is something you have at home that can also amplify sound. So once again, I'm going to make my music. Well, before I make my music, I'm going to tell you what I use. A toilet paper tube, okay? You take a toilet paper tube, and if you just cut the top, mine looks kind of a little ripped, and that's okay. Um, if you cut that, it'll help amplify the sound. So check this out. My music. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in here and we're gonna see if it helps make it louder. You hear the difference? I'll take it out. So what is this toilet paper tube? Is it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? It's a solid. So just like the speaker, the sound is traveling through the solid and it's actually amplifying it. It's traveling faster, but it's also helping it be louder. All right, we have one more um, item that we can use that you should have at home that can help you make sounds louder, and that is just a glass. Um, this is my favorite one whenever I'm on vacation, if I'm in a hotel or somewhere and I don't have a speaker, Grab a glass, put my phone in it, and play some music. Listen to this. Sorry, I love this music. Okay, so hear the difference? So this is amplifying sound, it's a solid. So is our toilet paper tube, as well as my little rubber speaker. So all of these things will make my sounds louder. Um, and that's really because instead of having them just travel through the air, they are traveling through solid. That's right. All right, we're gonna keep going. So when we talk about volume, that's how loud or soft a sound is. An amplitude is the size or intensity of the sound wave's vibration. Louder sounds have more amplitude, and softer sounds have less amplitude. Another way we can explore that sound can travel through a solid, a liquid, or a gas is with this silly lab. Right, we know that sound travels through a solid, a liquid, and a gas. But I've seen something online that's really kind of weird, but of course I have to try it. So this is something, if you do try this, make sure you clean it afterwards. Um, but I have seen this on the internet, so I wanted to see if you guys wanted to try it out. But um, if you take earbuds, just some earbuds, and you play music through them, you know, we usually hear that through our ears and it's it um, vibrates our eardrum. But I've seen other people online that put the earbuds in their noses and then they hear the sound. So I am going to play some music and we're gonna see if you guys can hear. So you can hear it here and you can hear it. Ooh, it's so weird. It's kind of gross, but it's weird. It's 
So the sound is traveling through my nasal passage, out my mouth. But you know, sound travels through a solid and that's why. So if you do try this, do like I am. I'm gonna go clean these. <laughs> Lastly, we've learned that sound takes time to travel. This can be demonstrated when it echoes because it does take time for that sound to bounce or reflect back to your ears. We've also learned that light travels faster than sound. Some examples of this are fireworks. You see the flash of light before you hear the boom of the fireworks. And in a thunderstorm, you see the flash of lightning before you hear the boom. That's how we know that light travels faster than sound. We're gonna explore this concept and more as we start light energy next week. All right, that's it for me. Take care. Peace.